You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the team, you hear me? And caprices in the bitches lit. Squatted on them sixes, how them bitches sit. Candy coat of paint, I had to drop a lick. What's good, fam? Another day, another video. What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on? Another day above ground equals a beautiful day, like I always say. So if it's a beautiful day, why not get out and chase your goals? Why not get out and chase your dreams? Why not get out and work on yourself, you hear me? What's good, though, fam? Y'all already know we got the same 24, you hear me? With that being said, man, let's get up, let's get out. Let's make things happen, you feel me? Because it's not going to fall in your lap and don't nobody owe you a motherfucking thing, you hear me? You got to get up out there and earn it. And you got to get out there and get it. When you earn it, you appreciate it that much more. So just make sure... You, you get up out there and you earn it, you feel me? But what's good though, fam? What's going on, man? Today, as you can see, I don't know from my background, if you could tell from my background, I'm riding in a donk right now, you feel me? I'm riding in a donk right now. But it's not my donk, you feel me? But it's a photo, but it's not my photo, you feel me? And it's for sale, you feel me? Just wanna take it around the block real quick and show y'all what we got going on, you understand me? Just want to take y'all around the block real quick and show y'all what we got going on. So we in the photo real quick. And it's for sale. But yeah, fam, um, that's what we're going to get into today. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell, select all, and turn on the post notifications. Because we do post content often. And on top of that, we doing a don't giveaway. It's the Don't Planet Don't Giveaway. We're giving away a don't. 1973 two-door hardtop that we're giving away never has a don't been given away before we're giving this donk away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on youtube for a chance to win this donk all you have to do subscribe to don't plan a youtube channel click the bell select all and turn on the post notifications post notifications must be turned on because part of the requirements is watching and commenting on videos on don't plan a youtube channel so post notifications must be turned on so you can know when we post new videos so you can go watch and comment on them also you must spread the word and tell everybody you know that like donks about the don't plan it don't giveaway that's the rules for entering the giveaway don't just subscribe and disappear thinking that you're going to win the don't because it's not going to happen you have to participate on the Don't Plan It YouTube channel, meaning you have to watch videos and comment on videos. No, you don't have to comment on every single video, but you have to watch and comment on videos. It is very important. The Don't Plan It Don't Giveaway. Fam, it's hot out here, man. Gotta keep my tie with me nowadays, now. Keep my ties on deck. Boy, it's a hot summer, you hear me? But yeah, fam, y'all see what's going on, man. That was the giveaway ad, man. Y'all see it, we giving away that solid 1973 Tudor hard top. When we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, for your chance to win, all you gotta do is follow what the giveaway ad says, you understand me? Follow what the ad says. One of the most sought after years in the dunk game, a seven tray, and we giving it away, you feel me? We giving it away, but wait, there's more. On top of that, we partner with one of the biggest wheel brands in the game. We talking about Forgiato. Yeah, we partner with them, and we giving away a set of 26 inch wheels with the giveaway dunk. The dump, the wheels, you talking about a $16,000 value that we're giving away when we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. You feel me? Like I said, for your chance to win, all you gotta do is follow what the ad says, you feel me? But anyway, fam, let's get into it. We got the 71 photo, solid car for sale, you understand me? Let's check it out. Y'all see what's going on, fam. 71 photo. No post joint. Y'all go ahead on drop in the comment. Where my photo love is at? Y'all already know I'm a photo lover off top. Y'all already know I love them photos, you understand me? 
This one right here is a photo Caprice. My photo is a photo Impala. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all the difference in a minute. Well, a few of the differences rather. Just walking around the car and show it to y'all real quick. Y'all see how solid that body is? Solid quarters, solid fenders. This car came with a vinyl top on top of it. You feel me? The car is not perfect. Needs minor work to it, but for the most part, it's solid. For the most part, it's solid. And it's a no post. A lot of people out there rap prefer a no post over a post. Me personally, I mean, I like no post is better, but it doesn't make a difference to me that much. I mean, I like no post is better, but if I didn't have a no post, I'd take a post as well, you feel me? For those out there who don't know, no post mean it doesn't have a pillar that divide it down here in the middle. It will have a pillar right here. A post has a pillar in the middle that divides the window. When you drop the windows, you see it's like one big hole. If the photos, if you drop the back with the photo with the post, if you drop the front window and you drop the back window, you're still gonna have the metal pillar in the middle. With the no post, you drop the front window, you drop the back window. No pillar in the middle. So this is a no post. But it's a Caprice, like I was saying. You feel me? 400 engine in it. And it's for sale. Also, one of the differences with the Caprices is uh, the Impala header panel says Chevrolet across it. The 71 Impala header panel says Chevrolet. The Caprice doesn't say Chevrolet. But me personally, I prefer the Impala because I like the fact that it says Chevrolet across the front. And this is the Caprice grill. See, you got the Caprice emblem in the middle. The Impala grill doesn't have that in the middle. You feel me? Y'all see what's going on, man. And then on top of that too, with the Caprice, there's differences in the interior versus the Impala. But look at this car, though. This car is in great shape, though. I ain't gonna lie to you, there's a few you know, it's a, it's a car from 1971. So for what it is, it's, a, it's in great shape, considering it's from 1971, you know? Just a little, little rust that I see around the back window. But that's an easy fix though. That's an easy fix. There's nothing major, I've seen worse. But for the most part, you wanna check out the body. And the body is super solid. Don't look like this car ever been painted before. If you ask me, you understand me? Now I'll take a look on the interior. See, that's the Caprice, Caprice stitch pattern. Interior definitely needs to be done over, but for the most part, the full interior is in there to be done over. Now I'm saying it'd be worse if like you didn't have, if interior pieces were missing, but all the pieces are there, just need to be redone, done over. You feel me? Yes, sir. Does run and drive, but car can use a tune-up because it keep cutting off. You feel me? It keeps cutting off for some reason. Could use a tune-up, but it does run and drive. Engine runs strong to be at. Engine runs good, pretty good to be honest with you. Like runs strong. It just cut off because it need a tune-up. But the engine is pretty much in good condition. Like I just took it around the block. Y'all see it? Actually, 12,000. 12,000 for this car is not a bad deal at all. 71 photo, solid body, very little rust. 12,000 is not a bad price at all for this car. You know what I'm saying? Considering the prices that these cars are going for these days. Let me show y'all the trunk real quick. Hold on one second. Somebody keep calling my phone, bro. Why people always call my phone when I be doing stuff, when I be busy, bro? Let me see who calling me real quick. They don't call me multiple times. 
Hold on one second, fam. My bad for the interruption. I don't even recognize this number. I'll call him back, fam, you feel me? But anyway, for the most part, y'all see what we got here. Got the skirts on there, all the pieces there. Rocker Panda motors are there. Skirts are there. Uh, for the most part, all the pieces are there. Y'all see it. Now let's see what the trunk look like. You can tell from the inside that the quarter pounders are solid. You can tell. Quarter pounders are solid. The trunk pan is solid. Solid trunk pan. Got the spare tire back there. Might have a jack back there too, I can't see. Got some jumper cables back there, but for the most part, it's solid back here, boy. For the most part, it's solid. Let's see if we can pop the hood real quick. Show y'all this 400 motor. Okay. Show y'all this 400 motor real quick. I'll see it. 400 engine. The sign is, uh, it's, you know, it's fading away because it's old, but it's 400 in there. Yes, sir, running drive. Solid start, man. Solid start. All the pieces are there. If you buy this car right now, you don't have to worry about chasing the parts, man, down for parts. You understand me? All the parts are there, solid start. You buy this car right now. You don't have to worry about chasing the part man for parts. Everything is there. Belt line, rocker panel motor, fender trim, bumpers, headlight bezel, grill. Everything is there, fam. Everything is there. Run and drive car, needs a tune up. But that's about it though. AC car, by the way, as you can see, is an AC car. Got the compressor. Y'all see the compressor right there. Now, when I say AC car, I'm not saying that the AC works. I'm just telling you it's a car from factory that came with AC, meaning that it wouldn't take much to get the AC working. I mean, as that this car is so old, I doubt that the AC is working properly right now. But the fact that it's an AC car, you know, you don't have to go buy extra stuff to make it an AC car because it already came from factory an AC car. You understand me? But y'all see what we got here, man. 71 photo, no post, Caprice for sale. Asking 12,000. Very solid car. Very solid start. Like I say, fam, you know, Y'all my people, y'all my family. We the DPF. I wouldn't try to like, you know, lie to you guys or anything. Y'all can take my word for it. The car is solid. It does run and drive, but it could use a tune-up because it keep turning off. Um, the body is super solid. Um, and But like I always tell y'all before, cars with vinyl tops tend to have rust sometimes. And as you can see, because of the vinyl top, it has rust around the windows from what I can see with my own two eyes. It has rust around the window. Once they take this vinyl top off, you'll see that, you'll see rust and you have to re you have to get that fixed. But the roof is still in good condition. It's not a car where the whole roof gotta get cut off and replaced. You feel me, it's a solid roof. You know what I'm saying? All that fam. I wouldn't lie to you guys. All the pieces are there. 
If I didn't have a photo already, I'd grab this photo, you feel me? Matter of fact, if I had space and if I didn't have any other things going on, I'd grab this one too. I had two photos, you feel me? You know what I mean? Feel me, I'm a collector. I'm more so of a don't collect if you ask me. I got two already, or really I got three and I'm giving one away. I'm more so a collector, so I wouldn't mind adding another one to the collection. But as of right now, I don't have the space for it. You feel me? The goal in the future, you feel me, is to get more space so I can collect more cars. Whether it be buying a bigger house, you know what I mean, with, with a lot more land or get my own little my own warehouse or something i don't know but that's the goal though you feel me like to be able to collect more cars more dunks but i need more space i already got three i don't have space to keep another one i got three one i'm giving away i still got two you feel me i don't have enough space but yeah fam y'all see what's going on man it's hot out here man but yeah man solid 71 Caprice four door, very solid car, giving it away. Oh shit, my bad, I said giving away. <laughs> I'm tripping, my bad. Solid 71 four door Caprice for sale, 12,000. 12,000, it's for sale for 12,000. Got a 400 motor in there, runs a drive, could use a tune up, but for the most part, overall, the car is solid for the year it is, 1971. The body is super solid. Minor rust on the car that I've, that I've seen with my own two eyes. You know, from what from what you can see visually or whatever, from what I can see, minor rust. Twelve thousand is a great price for this car. All the pieces are there. You don't have to go chasing down the parts, man, to get you parts or anything like that because all the pieces are there. When it comes to buying donks these days, it's best to buy a donk that come that got all the pieces already on there, like all the trim, all the grills, all the the the, the belt line, all the rocker panel molding. Cause like it's gonna be a hassle when it comes time to try to go find those pieces. So if you buy a car with those pieces on there, you feel me, you had a great start already. So we got this 71 Ford right here for sale. You understand me, if you're interested, go ahead on and send me a, send me a DM on Instagram. Uh, send me an email, don'tplanet305 at gmail.com if you're interested in buying this four door. Y'all see what the armadillo look like, you feel me? So I know I got four doors lovers out there on the channel, so. Y'all see what the armadillo look like? The armadillo, this car can look just like the armadillo, you feel me? All you gotta do is have that vision, you understand me? You gotta be able to envision it, you understand me? You gotta, you gotta envision it, you understand me? Vision. Real talk, fam, but yeah, fam, it's starting to drizzle. About to get out of here so the camera don't get wet. Y'all already see what's going on. If you're interested in buying the car, hit your boy up. Until next time, keep it locked right here. Don't plan it live behind the scenes, you hear me?